Hi, Jerry with Eat My Tackle. And today, what we're gonna talk about is how to rig a sabiki rod. We get a lot of questions from people that buy a rod, they have a hard time getting the line through the rod all the way out the end because everything goes inside. Now, typically, the rigs we use down here in the Keys for ballyhoo and stuff, those rigs are made with 20 pound tests for their main line. So we use 20 pound tests for our reels when we go out with the sabiki rod. But let me show you the easiest way to do this. First of all, the sabiki rods come apart. They're two piece. All you do is thread in one end. And this is, this is leftover 500 pound mono from when we did our outriggers. Uh, you can use 400 pound, whatever you'd like. I just use whatever's left over. Stick it back in this end, put the two together, and just beat it on out the end. That simple. So within about a, I don't know, less than a minute, you've got it all the way through. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape a piece of 20 pound mono on this end right here. With any type of tape, I've got 20 pound mono and a piece of electrical tape. And we're gonna put the two of them together and pull it back through. There you go, just like that. Grab the other end, pull the 600 pound mono through. And it all comes back. And here's your line. So again, it's a simple trick. It'll get it all the way through, and you'll be able to put the line through without all the hassle and all. Next, what we're going to talk about is how you rig the terminal end. In other words, a Sabiki rig has a snap at the end of it, and it has a snap at the beginning of it. What we do is we run a 20 pound mono line, our main line, and then on our main line, we tie a barrel swivel. That allows you to change out sabiki rigs very easily, because again, sabiki rigs come with a snap swivel. So in this case, once you're set up, you're good to go. You can change rigs whenever you want, depending on the size baits. Uh, again, they come from a Subiki rig as small as 14 to as big as a one off. So you can change them out very easily, just open the clip. At the other end of the rig, we have a weight. And again, the rig comes with a small snap. We use this type of sinker, not the, not the bank sinkers, but this type right here. Hooks on very easily and it will not damage the end of the Subiki rod when you wind it up. Let me show you how everything goes together. When you wind it up, everything goes back inside. The weight slides in. No one's getting any hooks or anything, and it's all real smooth. Now again, pick the right rod. If you're using smaller rigs, you can go with a seven foot Sabiki rod. If you've got the bigger hooks on the longer rigs, go with an eight foot Sabiki rod, and we sell both of them. Most people, including myself, always use a bait caster style rod or reel. A bait caster reel works wonderful with these because it's close to the hole that the line goes in and out. But that's our tip of the day for me at my tackle. Catch them up.